Dynamic Seminars, the management and training consultancy presents Southern Africa's leading success lecturers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Attitude and Goal Setting. I've got to start off with an apology. And the apology is because the name of the program is actually not the name of the program. You, you have been scammed a little bit. Uh, let me tell you what the actual name of the program is, uh, and I hope you'll still stay with me. The real name of the program is actually How to Train Fleas how to train elephants, and how to stay motivated. Uh, now, you know, I'm not quite sure whether you're going to be happy with this or not, but let's talk about it. The only rule today that's not negotiable, everything is negotiable, <clears throat> one rule is not, and that is you've got to have fun. You know, the learning experience can be this heavy kind of experience where the lecturer goes and stands behind the podium, and about three minutes later you fall asleep, and about three hours later you go home. Right? Or alternatively, what we can do is we can laugh, we can enjoy ourselves. Are you all happy with that? Yes. Fabulous. Let's go. The name of the course is How to Train Fleas, How to Train Elephants, and How to Stay Motivated. Can I start off, please, by seeing with a show of hands, do we have any fully trained flea trainers with us today? Uh, now, guys, we do need to have some kind of signaling system together. As I ask you questions, can I ask you if you agree with the answer, just you know, sort of nod your head. Uh, if you disagree with the answer, can I ask you to shake your head? Uh, and if you're thoroughly confused, roll your head around a little bit. Uh, uh, that way we can communicate with one another. So, if we don't have any flea trainers, let me tell you how to train a flea. A flea is an incredible little creature. Stands less than one millimeter tall but has the ability to jump nearly 500 times its own height. can jump to around about a half a meter. How do you train a flea? Take a flea, put it into a peanut butter jar, put the top onto it, and watch what happens. If you want to get really scientific, you can put little sensitive microphones onto the top just to listen what's happening. But you're going to see that the flea keeps jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. It takes in the region of around about anything between 9 and 11 hours to train a flea. But you're then going to notice something amazingly interesting. And that is that the flea now starts to jump about one centimeter from the top of the jar. So what do we learn from that? We learn quite simply that the flea has now given himself a headache for sufficiently long. He reckons I'm not getting out of here, so we might as well stop trying. So he starts jumping that much less from the top. Now the most amazing thing is, you can actually remove the lid from the jar you can sprinkle flea food around the jar. I don't know what flea food is, but uh, you can sprinkle flea food around, but you're going to find that the flea is still unable to jump out of the jar. And I know what you're saying. The reason why he can't jump out of the jar is because the poor bug is exhausted. Not true. Take him out of the jar, put him on the ground, and you're going to see that once again he has that ability to jump the normal height. So what can we learn from the flea? Very, very simply... The flea has developed something that is called an artificial ceiling. He's developed a ceiling beyond which he believes he's unable to jump. Now, can I just for a moment see with a show of hands those people in the room that have artificial ceilings? Can I see your hands? And if you haven't put up your hand, you didn't understand the question because <laughs> everybody has got artificial ceilings. Okay? So let's talk a little bit further. How do we train elephants? By the way, you don't put them into a peanut butter jar, all right? <laughs> uh, and it also takes a little bit longer than 10 hours to train. It takes in the region of around about seven or eight months to train a flea. But what they do is they take a, uh, to uh, train an elephant rather, they take the baby elephant, they use it as a source of labor in the forests. But the little baby elephant from a very early age is now chained with a great big manacle around its leg with a great big steel chain which is now chained into a great big steel stake which is now cemented into the ground. 
And the elephant is going to pull his leg bloody and raw to try and get away, but he can't get away. Right? After a period, it takes in the region of around about seven months. Seven months later, that elephant is now used in the forest as a source of labor, comes back at the end of the day, and is now tied down in a very interesting way. And that is a piece of rope is tied around the elephant's leg. This piece of rope is now tied, into, uh, tied onto a short little wooden stake which is knocked into the ground. And there's not a person in this room that wouldn't be able to pull that out. But you know what? The elephant can't. You know why? Artificial ceiling. The elephant has developed an artificial ceiling beyond which it believes it's not able to break through. So we're talking about what? How to train fleas, how to train elephants, and how to stay motivated. We're talking about, in other words, how do we break through those artificial ceilings? How do we recognize what is the ceiling that I've got? And what can I do now to effectively break through that ceiling? Because whatever we believe we're able to do, we can. And whatever we believe we're not able to do, we can't. Okay? And it all starts up here. It all is about attitude. Your attitude is going to determine your altitude. Unfortunately, there's a whole batch of people out there, negative. I'm not talking about people with us today. I know that you people are not negative. There's a whole batch of people out there that are so totally negative. You walk into the, uh, into the company in the morning and you say, isn't it a beautiful day? And what does somebody say? Are you mad? It's got too hot now. Right? And they bring you down.